Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving, able to get together with your family and friends. And uh, <clears throat> it was great to see uh, so many families getting together this Thanksgiving after being apart last year. And we have much to be grateful for as a nation. <clears throat> when I was elected, I said I would always be honest with you. So today, I want to take a few moments to talk about the new COVID variant first identified last week in Southern Africa. It's called the Omicron. It is the, uh, and to their credit, the scientific community in South Africa quickly notified the world of the emergence of this new variant. This kind of transparency is to be encouraged and applauded because it increases our ability to respond quickly to any new threats. And that's exactly what we did. The very day the World Health Organization identified the new variant, I took immediate steps to restrict travel from countries in Southern Africa. But while we have that travel restrictions can slow the speed of Omicron, it cannot prevent it. But here's what it does. It gives us time, it gives us time to take more actions, to move quicker, to make sure people understand you have to get your vaccine. You have to get the shot. You have to get the, get the booster if you're the sooner or later, we're going to see cases of this new variant here in the United States. We'll have to face this new threat just as we face those that have come before it. 